Hello everyone, uh, yeah I am back and as you can see I have this lovely face mask on uh, because I am actually about to resin. I want to show you what I have done, basically how I prepare my art. I don't know if you can hear me okay but I've been mixing resin up. I want to show you how I prepare my canvases ready to paint on. I have my resin already and hence why I've got the mask on and I have a couple of paintings here in front of me and a blankish background which I've painted. I will turn the camera around and I will show you what I've been up to so far. Over there I have painted this board and I put some different pigments in, there's some gold in there, there's some glitter and I am um, going to put some alcohol in this bottle here with some pigment, some resi tint. I am going to pop some resin onto this piece here, it's not finished. Also, I'm going to pop some resin onto this piece here, which is also not finished. Uh, ready for the next few coats. Okay, I'm going to pop some resin onto this piece first. I don't want much because it's just a... Uh, First coat of resin. So I'm just rubbing it into the board like that. I might need a bit more than that. Do. And get in there. I don't like wearing this mask because it tends to really mark my face and it hurts so maybe i need to get a different kind of mask because this one here is oh i don't get on with it very well at all i just want a little bit of a coat onto that there because we're going to be putting more resin on this in the future and more layers of paint okay right i'm going on to the large one over there next I think I've mixed up a bit too much resin. So I'm just covering the piece with a layer of this resin. I'm not too worried about what it looks like because, like I said, I'm going to be going over this again with more paint and more resin. Uh, a bit more over there. It's not the best. I haven't got the best of room here, but doing everything on the floor. <laughs> I've got some plastic sheeting on the floor to help protect my already painted carpet. Make sure I don't drag my hair into it. You don't want to be getting resin on your hair because if you get it on your hair, it is a nightmare to get out. And I mean a nightmare. But I've definitely mixed up too much resin by the looks of it, which is a shame because I don't like waste. Right, okay. So I've done that. I'm going to do some more to that in a minute. Uh, I'm just doing this other piece here at the minute. Right, so I've resined this piece on these two. And now this one, I'm going to try and have a go at adding some ink. So I, this is a trial for me. So I'm going to just, I don't know, probably splatter some in. I don't know how this is going to work, mine. I don't want to go too mad. I don't want to ruin it. Uh, I could do with a stick of some kind. Let's have a look what we've got. Let's use this brush here. This will ruin your brushes, but I just want to see 
how this reacts with the resin. Might not be the best of ideas, but I don't know if this will set properly either. I don't really like that, but it's fine. We can go over that. We can paint over it. Uh, right, so I, I now know that I don't like using that stuff there. I have some of this stuff here. Okay, so I'm going to pop a bit of this in. And just open it up. And let's just see what it looks like on top. I don't. I think it's more of a glitter. This stuff. Yeah. It's more of a glitter rather than a pigment. So, but I'm just popping it in. Just playing around here. I'm gonna pop some isopropyl, some isopropyl stuff into this bottle here. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I have put some of the resin tint with the gold in there with some alcohol ink. So hopefully when we spray it, it should come out like a bit of a spider web effect. So here goes. Uh, oh, mind you. <laughs> That's okay. Let's do it from a distance. Oh. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want it all gold. <laughs> but that is actually, that's actually okay. That's not a bad effect. Um, yeah, I think we're going to leave it at that. I'm not adding any more resin. I'm just going to let that do its job. And then that's ready to paint as a background. I don't like this here much. Well, I've added the uh, the ink, but it's, yeah, that'll be okay. All right, all right, okay. So that's one stage. That there. We'll now, I'll leave that to dry overnight and then it's ready for me to paint on top of the next day with whatever I decide to paint. So there we go. Right. Let me get this bloody mask off, I tell you. It's very uncomfortable. Bye for now. Okay, so this is the next day and i've just popped this up right it has just about set there's a few actually no it's cured um so as you can see the gold pigment that's what i sprayed in around here it's giving it quite a nice effect that's some of the other gold pigments a bit darker gold but as you can see it's quite, I've got the light glaring on it at the minute. If I can turn it around, let's have a look, see if we can pop it there. That might be a bit better. So, there we go. Um, that's all ready now to paint something on. I don't know what I'm going to paint on there yet. I haven't decided. That's why I popped the um, that acrylic ink in. It's okay. I mean, that's all adds part of it all adds to it doesn't it so you know there's a lot of texture in there and i used tissue paper under here as well so you can see that coming through um now i've got to decide what i want to paint on there but i will keep you updated and we will you know i'll, I'll let you see where this next bit's gonna go so there we go so that's that and the other two Let's get back up to the state of my desk. The other two are dry now and they're here. So have that one there. That's all cured now. And as you can see, there's some little glittery bits in there. And this one here needs more paint and layers. So I'm going to pop some more layers in there. As you can see, it's two owls on a branch and there's holly. So I will get that, um, I need to get that done as well. I'm going to frame that as it is. I'm not going to do any more to that, I don't think. 
no i'm not going to do any more to that it's got a lot of um texture in it because this here i popped in some um oh what's it called some paste with the paint and it's giving it a bit of a texture so yeah right uh i think i'm going to leave this video at that and then i will come back in another video and let you know how how far i've got how further along i've got with this piece over here so it's quite a nice background to paint on looking forward to i don't know <laughs> looking forward to putting something on there and then popping it in a frame so yeah join me in the next video guys and i'll see you soon bye